signage system design and branding is a key element of our service offering. In us offering a, a seamless, safe and efficient end-to-end -end journey experience to our customers, we therefore need to ensure that the signage system design and branding being the first element that our customers come into contact with, be it when they see our signage in, in, in the intersections or when they see our signage in the, in the stations, we need to ensure then that customer key point is as pleasant and as comfortable, also consistent with our key success factor, which is efficiency. Therefore, when we provide or when we do the signage design, we're going to make sure that it talks to the efficient passenger flows, efficient traffic flows within our stations, within the precinct, and within the vicinity of our, our stations in terms of the major intersections. The most important thing that we also need to take into consideration is the fact that provision of the correct information at the right location and, in a, and displaying it in a readable manner makes the decision of a customer in whether to use our service or not makes it more efficient for them. Therefore, as we journey into the smart mobility, there is a certain lag outside of the physical signage that you see in terms of the digital signage, be it through our digital platforms, the Houdrain web, uh, uh, web or the Houdrain app, for example, or even the digital touch screens that are in our stations. So those are some of the innovative aspects that we are bringing into the signage, more into the information availability. So as we talk signage, we cannot divorce it from the information availability because essentially it is to provide the reliable information which enables the customer to make a decision on using the public transport. Ultimately, what we want to be able to do is that through ITS, we are able to integrate with the entire public transport information around how routing. So then that will enable the customers to have that information, not only of the how train, but also of the entire uh, public transport network in, in, in Gauteng, and therefore that makes it much more valuable and much more easier. And I think really from the user perspective, that is really the information that we that, that we need. If there is a, a service disruption, be it in the how train, or if there's a service di the, the disruption, be it in the on, on, on the M1, for example, the passenger who is on the how on, on, on the how train, or the passenger who is in a taxi somewhere, needs to have that information. Information so that they can make a decision on which transport mode to use at that particular point to avoid whatever service disruption uh, that, that, uh, that, that is there.